Now I gotta ride or die What's going on YouTube, just joking and welcome back to my channel for another GTA 5 video and in today's video we're going to be customising and reviewing the brand new BF Club which was released with the Summertime DLC and we now have a VW Golf in Grand Theft Auto Online and I'm overly excited about it, I love the European cars, I love Volkswagen, I have a Volkswagen Golf myself, not a Mark 1 but I love most generations of Golf with the exception of the Mark 3 that's kind of a bit of a, a grey area for me, I think it's a bit of a, a weird one but every other Golf is awesome especially the mark one and now we have it in gta online and it's going to cost you 1.28 million dollars so almost 1.3 million dollars um but yeah overly excited about customizing this car hopefully it stands up to its price tag hopefully it's quick hopefully you can do some good customization to it but without any further ado we're going to jump into ls customs and find out so here you go my dudes as you pull into ls customs you'll see the bf club is in the compacts class which is going to make this car a lot more competitive in my opinion because if they could obviously it's supposed to be a gti so you could put it in the sports category technically but i'm glad they've put it in the compacts class because then that means it's actually going to bolster out that category and it's not going to make it feel underpowered because i don't think this is going to be like super quick so yeah rockstar putting this car in a compacts class is probably one of the best moves that they could have done because like i said if they put it in the sports category it would have been drowned and it would have been one of them cars which was an underperformer you know because i don't think this is going to be super quick um but in the compacts class it is definitely going to be one of the best but anyway let's crack on with the build with 100 percent body armor as always as the start body work we've got uh front panels obviously you can get sticker bomb this is a an old mark one <laughs> german golf so it's obviously you're going to be able to stick a bomber and um is that a new design of sticker bomb i might be wrong but it looks cool man i'm actually a massive fan of sticker bomb and also carbon panels as well i think they look cool so then you've got the stock door panels which is weird because they mean the trunk there we go uh then then the sticker bomb doors so you can actually stick bomb this whole car by the looks of it even the doors i think this is the first car in gta where we could actually do the doors so you've got trunk and doors uh, you can get the carbon versions of them as well but i thought i'm going to make this build clean so we're going to stay stock for the panels. I do like sticker bomb, like I said. I also like the carbon. Um, but clean build. We're going to go to the brakes and grab the race brakes and the bumper, front bumper. So we can remove the front bumper, which I think makes it look a little bit weird. But then you can get the chrome version and then a low level, which is a little bit smaller. That looks quite nice. I like the look of that. And then you've got the full bumper. Then a oil cooler at the front. That looks really funny. <laughs> that looks like it shouldn't be there. Very odd. Uh, racing kit that one's quite interesting i suppose the inner cooler at the front you got a little toe strap on there as well that's a interesting look that's not what i'm gonna go for though like i said i'm gonna go clean with this um not 100 percent on that whether i like it or not but it's you know it's nice to have options so that's cool um i do like the chrome to be fair so i'm gonna go with a chrome stock bumper then we're going to go to the rear bumper, hopefully we can chrome that as well. You can remove it and you can chrome it. So I'm going to grab that, but I'll show you the other two as well, or the other three as well. And they're mainly ones that uh, match the bumps we had for the front as well. That actually looks quite good. The carbon racing bumper, has that got a bit of chrome in it? But I think, yeah, I think this one looks nicer. We're going to go like clean classic look. So then we're going to go to the engine, we're going to get the level 4 engine upgrade, the exhausts. So we get some nice options for exhausts. The tuner exhaust is real nice. It's not too big, it's nice and subtle, but it looks really cool too. The chrome tuner looks nice. So there's some nice options for exhaust as well, which is good to see. They're not all like huge cannons. And then we do get the big balls. It's talking of cannons. I'm not gonna go with anything like that. I like the chrome tuner exhaust, so uh, yeah, that's what I'm gonna go for. Then we get an option for the fenders. So we get the half covers. Hang on, what are these? Are they the arch covers? That's weird. Um, oh, so it's just the flares, the, fl the size of the flares. So the flares don't disappear. I don't know if you can see that, but you can put like a an extra layer of material over what's already there, which is a bit weird. And then you get the full cover. I'm hoping on the stock fenders, that black trim that's over the fender, or the arches, um, is the secondary color, and we can change that to the same color as the car. That would be a lot nicer, I think. 
or we could just go with the full covers and be done with it. I think I'm gonna go with that. Let's go full covers. Then we've got headlight covers and it's just tape over them. I suppose this is cool if you wanna build like a track car or something. But um, yeah, I, I prefer just the circle headlamps. I think they look the best. Putting tape over them, unless it's a track car, there's, there's not much point. Next option we've got is the hood. Loads of options for the hood, man. You can remove it, you can stick a bomb it, you can carbon it. Uh, then we've got the low level vents. They're quite cool. Club racing hood, the twin vented hood, the competition hood, the skinned hood. That's real cool, man. I don't think we've ever seen that before in GTA. Very nice option. So all the options are pretty solid, to be fair. And my favourite was to have on this build. That is the competition hood. I think that suits it quite nicely. Doesn't it's not doesn't look over the top, and it still fits in with the theme that I'm going for. So yeah, competition hood. Headlights, we're gonna go with the Xeon headlights. Then we've got liveries. Uh, so we've got the retro stripes, which is pretty smart. Half ton flames, the Jackal retro. Stick it down, which is, I don't know about that one. It being just half of the, the bottom half of the car. It's different, I suppose. It's a shame it doesn't go around the front as well. You know, just underneath the bumper. Because it goes around the rest of the car. It's very strange that Rockstar didn't carry it on around the front but never mind i'm not getting that anyway so it's not a big deal the los santos customs that's a nice little livery that's actually pretty cool that don't think we've ever seen anything like this outside of benny's yeah i like that smart then the douche gold the bigness the prolapse the military panels which is very odd then the military camo the war club the beater the old reliable and with these cars a lot of them are ratted out unfortunately um i'm not really a fan of that trend i think ratting cars out especially ones like mark one golfs mark two golfs you know that that sort of caliber of car and you ratting it out i think it, that's fucked up especially on a gti as well when you see them done very very weird uh anyway then we've got junkyard war dog and then that's it the only livery that actually caught my eye and i thought was really good was this uh, Los Santos Customs one. And that's only because I don't think we've ever seen anything like this livery outside of Benny's. And I thought it was cool, you know. I'm not going to be getting a livery on this. But, yeah, just to let you know, that was my favourite one. All the others were okay. Um, but, you know, I'm not a massive fan of liveries anyway. So we're going to stay none. Then we're going to go to the respray. We're going to go primary colour. We are going to go metallic. And because this is a GTI, we're going to go with Formula Red. And that looks awesome, man. So happy with the way this is turning out. Uh, next we've got the roof, we've got the window louvers, I actually dig them man, I think they're pretty cool. Uh, we've got a chrome roof rack, a custom roof rack, mobile rave station, that's different, I don't think we've had that on a car either in GTA. <laughs> and then we've got the competition tyres, some um, pretty cool options actually to be fair. Um, I think... Uh, I'm unsure about the chrome roof rack. It does look pretty cool, but I want the louvers. I think the louvers look the best out of all of them. But then we've got the window wipe at the back. Does that work? Is that logical? It's not logical because the louvers touch the rear window. And we've still got a window wiper at the back. Mate, what, why do Rockstar do things like that? It's just the small things. Give us louvers, but remove the rear window wiper. Rockstar logic, man. It is broken. Really don't understand what they're thinking sometimes. Um, so, in that case, I think I'm going to go with... I kind of want to go over a roof rack. I don't know. But then that looks kind of weird where it's just mounted in the middle. Like it's not actually mounted to anything. Whereas this makes sense. Obviously, it comes underneath the door jams and it actually makes sense. And that's another Rockstar logic moment. I mean, what the fuck is that attached to? You bolting it into the top of your roof? Don't think so. It's really weird. I don't understand what Rockstar are thinking. Um, at least with this one, you've got the straps going under the door jams as well. Uh, that's a little bit odd. But it fits the car a lot nicer than that. Uh, God, I might, I might just leave it, to be fair. I'm going to say stop for the roof. Then we get an option for the spoiler. Loads of options for spoilers, man. Got the plastic roof wing, the primary, the plastic drift wing primary we're only going to get so many designs but then there's going to be different variations of that design like 
carbon stick bomb and primary by the looks of it. So I'm just going to quickly um, slide through these. That looks a little bit too modern for this build. Same goes for that. Oh my days. Well, why would you put anything like that on a car like this? It's unbelievable. Um, I actually like the primary roof wing. I think that looks pretty cool. But I don't know whether what I go plastic or not. Because then that kind of ties in with the, the wheel arches as well. So yeah, I think I'm going to go plastic roof wing. Sun strips. We love a sun strip. So we've got the color coded sun strip. Hold on. So, so on the sun strip, you can get a sun strip, but then it covers your rear window, so you can have a van. What the hell, man? When's that a thing? Sun strip and uh, window covers. All right, makes no sense whatsoever. But I suppose you could stick up on that part of your car now. Uh, you got the carbon sun strip, and then you obviously the carbon co window covers as well, which I really don't get. I don't understand why they're letting us cover the car like that it's very odd um it's a shame we can't just get a black one because this is kind of got a red shine to it it's funnily enough but i think it looks better without so we're gonna stay none then we're gonna go on to the suspension obviously competition suspension is going to slam it and give it huge amounts of camber there you go called it already i think that looks pretty silly to be honest so i'm gonna go with the street suspension transmission we're gonna get the race transmission and obviously the turbo tuning now for the wheels go wheel type and into street gotta get some new wheels for these use the street wheels oh that's nice it kind of pushed the wheels out a little bit yeah these street wheels actually give it a little bit of a better offset as well so if you look at the stock and then we go to street it brings the offset out or it makes the wheels a little bit bigger as well which is cool so we've got the retro steelies they are definitely a contender they look awesome on this car uh, then we've got the poverty spec steelies so they're very similar to obviously the retro ones but you got the holes in them <laughs> uh, so there are some real cool options i actually like them as well the nubler they look really nice on this car oh nubler or retro steelies i don't know i think nubler is going to be a winner uh, yeah but there are some really nice options in there as well with the Aero Star. They look cool too. Aero Star actually looks really good. Even the uh, like Hype Five, if you wanted to go a little bit more modern with the wheels, this car also suits modern looking wheels as well. This is just just one of them cars where it suits pretty much everything. They look awesome too. Cosmo Mark Three. Wow. This is going to be a hard decision. So after a lot of looking, I've decided to go with the Aero Stars. I think they look awesome. There are so many wheels in this street category which look really good on this car. Um, but yeah, Aero Star uh, for the type of build and the type of look I'm going for matched um, the best. So yeah, Aero Star are the ones for me. Uh, wheel color, I'm going to leave them alloy, but you can obviously change them. Um, the Aero Stars, it looks like only the back of the or the back end color changes. So you could go with red, I suppose, would look which would look pretty cool. Yeah, so changing the back of the wheel there were into red. That actually looks really smart. Um, but I'm not going to do that because I preferred the alloy look. But just so you know, the Aero Stars, you can change the uh, backing colour. And to finish off the build, as always, we're going to go into the windows and purchase light smoke window tint. So we go, my dudes, as you pull out of LS Customs. Obviously, it's going to be night time. Unfortunately, I'm on the PS4, so this can't be helped. I can't change the time or the day or whatever I can usually do on the PC. Until Script Hook 5 updates and I can... Um, use the new cars with my um, mod menu then I'm going to have to be doing these videos on PS4 so so yeah like I said guys it is unfortunate that it is night time and uh, it can't be helped unless I wait until daytime but I'm not going to do that you've already seen what the car looks like on the inside of LS Customs it looks awesome so let's see how it drives it is in the compact class remember so so speed isn't going to be one of its um, you know strongest points let's say that but it is a compact at the end of the day and it feels good man it feels quick for a compact obviously it's not going to rival sports cars or definitely not supercars but we've got a mark one golf gti in Grand Theft Auto online and i'm overly happy about that and it looks awesome rockstar have done a great job in um, recreating the mark one golf in uh, online and um yeah like i said for compacts it is quick i reckon it's gonna be one of the quickest in the compacts class that's for sure it feels I don't know, kind of loose on the steering. It doesn't feel that tight. It does feel like if you do it a little bit too aggressively, you will spin out, um, which is unfortunate. But when you pull it into a corner like that, as long as you're holding it, 
you know conservatively it's going to work and it will go around the corner quite nicely uh, the price is very expensive for a compact car in my opinion um, but if you love VW or you love Golfs in general or even GTIs then this is a must I love Golfs I love GTIs I think these look cool and uh, this is the OG and I'm glad that it's in GTA so uh, for me this is a definite purchase for me at 1.2 almost 1.3 million um, but that's only because I'm a, a golf fan but people that don't like golfs or don't like Euro cars don't like VW this is definitely not going to be for you because um, it is very expensive but with that being said I love this car I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please smash a like button if you haven't already want to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this and until next time guys I'm out adios